Hi, this is Deacon Larry, and this is Renewed. Sisters and brothers, as we are leaving the church on Ash Wednesday and as we go through the Lenten season, we'll encounter people who say this funny expression to us, Happy Lent. Happy Lent. It seems so contrary. We say Merry Christmas or Father Phil being English, we say here at St. Teresa, Happy Christmas as the English do. And that makes all the sense in the world. We've got the wonder of the newborn Jesus. We've got gifts and friendship and re reunited families. And in Lent, we say this expression, Happy Lent. How in the world does that fit in a time in which we're reflecting on sinfulness, when we're reflecting on penitence, when we're reflecting on how far we are indeed from living out the fullness of the kingdom of God, how far we are from being the best of creation as God has called us to be. The reason we say Happy Lent, sisters and brothers, is because we know that Lent isn't a dead-end season. It's a season that leads us into the Easter Vigil, where we hear in the Exaltat, that great Easter prayer at the beginning of the Easter Vigil, where the translation used to say to us, O oh, happy fault, O oh, necessary sin of Adam, because it was by the sin of Adam that Christ came into the world that Christ came into the world, why? To free us from sin and death so that we might live in the glory and friendship of God. We've talked time and again that there are two reasons why Christ has come. One is the original intention of God that he would come to, that we might indeed live in his friendship and share in his glory, that Jesus might indeed walk with us as a human person, as divine God, the true God and true man, light from light, walking with us, but also, that because of Adam's sin, he came also to restore God's original will for us. And that was that we might all share eternal life with him. And so when we think of it in that way, when we think of the end point of the Lenten season, it's not simply the death of Christ on the cross and the crucifixion. It's the complete message, which is that death leads to the resurrection, which leads to the sending of the Spirit, the birth of the church, the great sacramental life of the church for each of us, and our ability to ultimately live in the friendship and glory of God. And for that, sisters and brothers, we can always say to one another, Happy Lent and be renewed. Please like, subscribe, or comment below.